It's a season where you really can immerse yourself in some of the very demanding works of the repertoire. In 2013, we're celebrating the bicentenaries of two giants of operatic history, uh, the composers Richard Wagner and Giuseppe Verdi. And we celebrate them with two giant new productions, Verdi's uh, Sicilian Vespers, a huge opera in French with ballet, with uh, large chorus, and a fascinating director, Stefan Herheim, who right now is the hottest ticket in the operatic world. He's making his UK debut with this enormous production, which will be conducted by Antonio Papano. And then Wagner's Parsifal. Stephen Langridge, who had such a big success with the Minotaur here recently, directs the piece. And for a director, putting on that vision of Wagner is uh, an enormous challenge. To add to the Verdi and Wagner celebrations, we'll be celebrating all over the world Richard Strauss with revivals of his incredibly strong Electra, two hours of raw, intense violence, conducted by Andres Nilsson with a great cast. In the spring, his Ariadna of Naxos, which is playful, theatrical and funny, conducted by Antonio Papano, and then a new production of his most demanding piece, Die Frau ohne Schatten, an incredible adventure directed here by one of the world's leading opera directors, Klaus Gut, who's never been here before, and conducted by Simeon Bischkov with some of the great voices for this kind of heavy repertoire. <laughs> We have an opera like La Traviata, which even if you didn't think you knew it, you will know many of the tunes. But also we have an opera like Wozzeck, a demanding piece from the beginning of the 20th century, which is so theatrical that if you thought opera is a bit too sentimental for your taste, actually Wozzeck will really give you the shock of what opera can tell you when it goes to the most painful corners of the human soul. <laughs> Mozart is someone that for any opera house is central and I'm doing a new production of Don Giovanni myself. You can expect to hear some amazing singing. I can't even start to mention all the star names who will be here, but it ranges from Roberto Alagna in Carmen, Elena Garancia will be his Carmen, indeed one of the world's most sought after mezzo-sopranos at the moment, and then the Trepko, Simon Keenly's side. You will be able to hear a tenor like Josep Kaleya, but also we have Brent Tavel, of course, coming here as one of the world's leading UK artists. There's a wealth of talent here next season. It's really, really exciting for us in the Royal Opera to not just be able to program for the main stage, but also to be able to program for the Lindbury Theatre, where we can uh, do more innovative work, where we can do things that we think will move opera forward. I think there's really some stuff happening for the curious minded down there. Basically, it's about looking at the whole rep on both stages and saying, if you're interested in going to opera, what are your tastes? What are you curious about? And I'm sure you'll be able to find many different things that could be for you. Thank you.